Yo, what is up, guys? Two-time world champion Apathy here, and today I'm back with the best class setups for Season 3 rank play. Now, this Vaznev class is used by the one and only Shotzi, and this build is absolutely insane. So we got the good old Ultra Zat stock for the obviously strafe speed, which is one of the most important things, plus the sprint speed. You have the true tack grip for the extra sprint to fire and ADS speed. You have the shark fin for the extra little aiming out stability, but no cons, which is pretty damn nice. And then we got this new muzzle that a lot of people are using, the Spiral V3.5 Flash Hider. It feels like it gives you control, but also it doesn't take away as much ADS like the other muzzles do. And here's a quick little preview of what it looks like. You can see the recoil control is still very manageable while shooting very straight. Of course, we're going to be rocking the combat knife as our secondary, so you can sprint a lot farther. We got a stun grenade, a Semtex, and we're going to be running the double time battle hardened perk package. Now, bomb squad is usually used more in search and destroy. For our next class, we got the good old TAC 56. Now, there are a lot of builds, but currently, I like this one the most. It has strafe speed while still having good recoil control and being somewhat fast. We're gonna have the cardinal stock for the aim walking speed plus the nice little sprint speed we got the high velocity mag for the extra bullet velocity so your bullet right feels better at range we got the fss shark fin for it again a little extra aiming off stability no cons which is nice we got the fjx full crown pro this is just a good muzzle to control the recoil and we got the one and only tundra pro barrel for the extra damage range and bullet velocity now to show you guys very quickly this thing is obviously going to shoot very straight and have really good bullet reg and you can see it's just very very easy it just shoots very straight you can see it has a nice little strafe if you want to strafe around and on top of it you can also crack him if you really wanted to i will be rocking again the combat knife which is very nice to have a stun grenade a semtex and a battle hardened with double time but thing is you are going to want a trophy trophy is key usually in respawn sometimes in search and destroy but we'll go into the next class and now onto the next TAC 56 class I have here. It's basically going to be very similar, but two different. One, you're going to be rocking bomb squats. You can get one aided and we're going to be rocking dead silence. Now, this is a class I like to run in search and destroy. And there are some maps like on control when you're on defense, you kind of want to have that dead silence. You can be a little bit more versatile and as an AR on the map and you can make some moves. Obviously, you don't need a trophy as much on a defense. Now for the next class, we got the Vel 46. If you're trying to get a little freaky, but before I show you the attachments, you can see it shoots pretty damn straight. And obviously ADS is pretty quick. Bullet velocity is pretty solid. Strength of fire is pretty nice. Now this is not as good as the Vaz when it comes to range, but you can still see it still has it. Really quickly, we're gonna be rocking the Demo RXT stock. We're gonna be running the Schlager Soldier Grip for the Sprint of Fire and ADS speed. We're gonna be rocking the 30 round mag, which gives you movement speed, ADS, Sprint of Fire, and Reload Quickness. So it's a pretty cool mag to rock. We're gonna be rocking Commando Foregrip for the LO extra recoil control. If you want it to aim quick, you can always run the FSS Shark Fin. And for the last one, you're gonna be rocking the Lackman Dart Barrel for the extra recoil control and the nice little bullet velocity. Again, as my other builds as an SMG, Combat Knife, Stun Sentex, and Double Time Battle Hardened plus Fast Hands. Now for the Sleeper class, we're gonna be showing you the Bass P. This gun actually received a little bit of a buff, increasing the damage range. And I want to show you guys what I'm rocking with. This gun does lack a little bit in movement speed and ADS speed. So that's what we're going to be really tackling. So on top of it, adding a little bit damage range. So we're going to be rocking the Bruin Flash V4 stock for basically to make it faster. We got the Bruin Flash grip again to make it a little faster. Sprint to fire and ADS speed. We're going to be rocking the FSS Shark Fin. Gives you a little aiming stability without any cons. We're going to be rocking the Spiral. Again, good recoil control. Barely takes away any ADS. And we're going to be rocking the 12-inch Bruin Barrel. Now, the reason this is kind of important, yes, you lose a little, a little ADS and movement speed, but it gives you bullet velocity and damage range, which this gun needs, especially the recoil control is pretty nice. So very quickly, I can show you guys what this looks like. You can see close to medium range. It's still pretty solid. It does have decent time to kill. Now, at range, it is going to struggle. As you can see, it's still I still got the job done, but it's no Vaznev. And that's just where the Faz excels at. It's that range damage that you can't really compare. Again, same perk, same secondary, same everything. And for the last class setup, we got the one and only SPX Sniper build. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys like this, and especially for Search and Destroy, it's a ton of fun and pretty OP. But now in the Pro League, I don't think they're allowed to use attachments or like one attachment is allowed. That's like something they do as like a GA, a gentleman's agreement. But I'm gonna give you guys the best attachments and make it very, very good. 
So for the stock, we're gonna be running the PVZ stock. And the goal here is to make it ADS very quickly is one of the biggest things. You just gotta aim high, obviously chest, head, and that's your number one goal. We got the Schlager match grip for the sprint to fire ADS speed. We got the FSS bolt to obviously reload faster. You can shoot your next shot. We got the high velocity for the bullet velocity so your bullets connect better at range and quicker. And then we got the elevate barrel. Now this is gonna take away a little bit of bullet velocity, but it gives you a nice little ADS speed. If you want, you can just take this off and run four attachments. You don't necessarily need this because as I can show you real quickly, it still ADSs very quickly and it's still very dominant. It's not like you need that, but it does help obviously. And we can hit this last headshot right here. And now let's get the job done. Pop, pop, pop. Nice. We're gonna be rocking the X12 pistol and you can slap this pistol on any other gun like the AR if you would like to. Uh, this is our attachments on rocking, Crow and Lima for the fast quick draw, uh, sprint to fire and ADS. We got the XRX lightning fire for the fire rate. This makes the pistol shoot very quickly. And the XRX sidewinder. It's gonna allow your pistol to obviously be somewhat decent and be able to compete at range and gun some of these kids. But you can see it shoots pretty fast. You know, it's actually a pretty damn solid pistol. You know, I can take this thing out at range and it's what you should be rocking. And again, same things like search and destroy, bomb squad, dead silence, but this class is pretty nice.